Hi one, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now, doctors have been on strike for over a month now, and the reason why doctors are on strike are obvious. Number one, demand for a better pay. Number two, improve working condition. Number three, hiring of medical interns. And lastly, adequate medical insurance cover. Those are the demands from our own doctors. And uh, it seems this government is giving a blind eye to all this. None of those demands has been fulfilled. No kind of intention from government <clears throat> to show that they are willing even to sit down and negotiate. And because of this, doctors are determined to continue with this strike. And for information, if you have forgotten, this strike can even go for a, for a three or four months. Because last time we had a strike, it went, it went for a hundred days until the government was forced to go into collective bargaining agreement that was signed sometime back in 2017. Something that Ruto has refused to honor to date. So, who will come at Mwanzo? He strike ni kama itaisha saizi. Kuna weza kano itaendelea, itashika moto, nabda mezi mingine mbili, tatu, ne. Because it is something that has already happened some time back. And with all this move, because of the failure by William Ruto's regime, because you look at the answer that Ruto is giving, you know, he is not promising or encouraging. He says his government has no money. So finally, the international media is playing this story on Dr. Strike and it's becoming a global news item. As we're speaking now, you will check in the news, you will see now the media house in US, in Washington DC and elsewhere. In other countries of a neighboring here, they are picking this story as news item. So Ruto is here in Kenya as the president and the health crisis in this country is being discussed elsewhere. <laughs> Look at that. That means he has failed to solve the problem. And now they are attempting something worse, which is now making the international media to pick this story. Want to look into that as we continue, but just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our retired subscribers. I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, you know what is happening in this country as of now? Finally, we are seeing public hospitals in Kenya have started firing and more than a hundred doctors have been fired. 100 doctors. And what is happening? They are replacing these doctors by foreign doctors from other countries. Now this is the kind of solution that Ruto's administration is looking for. Fire them, replace them with the foreign doctors. So they have tried to hire from Ethiopia, they have tried to hire from Tanzania, they are now hiring from Malawi. Now Ruto is trying to sort out the mess. Look at that. How possible will this be? It is not new. Moy attempted this some time back. And as he thought that he is punishing the doctors, South Africa took all those doctors. Someone is giving me a story about that. Moy fired South Africa. Ikawachukua what? Waka resume kazi kule South Africa. So, as you think you are punishing them, maybe you are opening better doors for them. But here in Kenya, you are not sorting out that problem. It is still there. Now, when you hire foreign doctors, you think you pay them peanuts. It is an attempt to try and threaten this doctor so that they can return back to work. That, oh, we are being replaced by other willing cheap doctors. No. 
Even most of them, they are being paid more bigger than what these ones are demanding. So in an attempt to threaten them, they are trying to hire these doctors. But the real fact is that even these doctors are not paid little compared to what these doctors are asking for. And they cannot manage to replace all of these doctors with the foreign doctors. Above all, are you doing this one within the law? Or you are creating another mess whereby the government will be forced to compensate these doctors for firing? The issue of strike, protest, demonstration, it is protected in our own constitution. So, once what you are doing is within the law, then you do illegal firing like this. You end up creating another crisis where the government will be forced to spend money on paying these doctors because they were unceremoniously fired without following the due process and the law. Because now that's the attempt they're trying to do here. How do you fire someone when he's on, on strike and eh, the strike is within the law? So that is the solution Ruto is offering to the cry or demand of doctors. I don't know how many interns Ruto is going to hire, foreign interns, and accept to be paid 70000 I don't know how possible is that. But the worst for him, he's a president here in Kenya, a man was trying to build his name. Now, when the international media picks such kind of a story and it becomes a global news item, imagine the kind of picture is being painted outside there about a Kenyan president, a failed president. Because the perception will be that this one is talking here, but he failed to sort out the issue of health in his country. It became a crisis. So definitely, you are lowering yourself when you get to that international platform. They view you as a failed president who refused to sort out the mess with the doctor's request and decided to fire doctors, then hire outside people. So as he attempted to build his name, you talk big out there. You are attracting a uh, standing ovation, Ukoinji. But back at home, the opposite is happening. You say that let us make Africa strong, that let us have our own currency, that let us have our own, our own voice, that let us have our own democracy. But back at home, what you're doing is completely opposite and completely inhuman. How are they enough to deal with the crisis of um, services in the hospitals? Because now, as the international media is sharing this story, they're telling the story about how patients are being turned back home. How patients are dying because there is no health workers to attend to them. So it tells you that this is a president who has failed now. His own people are dying because they don't have doctors to attend to them in the hospital. That the health situation is worsening because there are, not, there are no medics to attend to the demand in the hospital. That outside there, the world is learning that Ruto has failed to improve on working condition of doctors here in Kenya, and that's why they're on strike. Instead of offering a solution to doctors' problem and health um, issues in this country, Ruto is adding more pain, more problem to that sector. That's the message now they are taking globally. <laughs> that Ruto is coming out as a president who has failed to offer solution to his own problem. 
So when you get to the international platform, you want to talk to African leaders or the world leaders. Yet you cannot sort out the mess in your own country. What kind of a president are you? Or what kind of a leader are you? When you are in a gun. That the image that is painting comes out there. So definitely he is being exposed by international medias and they are going to learn that the world is going to learn that you are a failed president. You are incompetent. You don't want to be in the office. You cannot control such a strike that you cannot, you, you, you fail to fulfill an agreement that was signed by the government which you took hand over from and then you, you took an oath of office. Why did you took a hand over? You have to fulfill what was agreed because that was a government. And even in your government, there are things that will be agreed that will be fulfilled in the another government that will come to place after you, you are out of power. So this is a 2017 um, and a collective bargain agreement that was signed, which was supposed to be fulfilled. But they are not promising to do such kind of a thing. So, Ruto finally has been exposed by international media houses. That's where we are heading to. Embarrassment after embarrassment. Fail after fail. That is now William Ruto for you.